Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please, you can just subscribe up above at the easy to use widget at the end or down below on the easy to use subscribe button. So let's get right into it. This is going to be a weekly recap of our Lehigh Valley Phantoms. As after a rough um, weekend, after beating Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins before they beat them, which we will get to soon yesterday. Uh, they beat them on Friday, four to three, in a very good win. Then lost five to two um, against Wilkesbury at home on Saturday, unfortunately. Then lost four to three against Toronto on Sunday, unfortunately, uh, which was a final in OT. So they were able to get a point again, uh, where Saturday snapped the point streak, losing five two to Wilkesbury Scranton in regulation, but then they got back on the point board, losing an OT to Toronto, to then recapping the big game, we're going to recap um, yesterday's game, uh, which was them being able to win 3-1 to one in a hell of a game, played by Linus Sandine, uh, who had an assist on the Maxime Susko goal, he probably could have even shot that to himself, uh, but was unselfish, Susko played a hell of a game, played great on the PK, um, had a very good PK where he kind of just took it upon himself to kill a bunch of time, uh, which is great to see, and he's been doing that most of the season. Maybe he'll just develop into a great PK player, and you need to have those guys at the next level as well, which is a good thing to have because he has good speed to be able to be a hell of a PK guy. I'm um, in good anticipation as well, but uh, we'll have to see what that becomes going forward. That's just my own uh, two cents. And then Wade Allison, playing like a bat out of hell, he did admit to still hurting a little bit, which which would be understandable. He's coming from an ankle injury, then had an elbow injury, so he has the double bugaboo now, but uh, we'll see how quickly uh, that affects him coming up, or if they'll let him completely get his legs back under him. And then we also had the aforementioned Linus Sandine score in this game on a nice play in front. Um, Cal O'Reilly was able to get it to him. And he was able to score. Glendening had an assist on that one as well as the Wade Allison goal. So Adam Glendening had two apples in this game, giving him one of the players of the game. Uh, he played really great in this game. And then obviously Wade Allison being able to wire home a goal there on the power play. Very good puck movement. Alex Kiley seems to be fitting in like a glove uh, from the main Mariners. Uh, obviously Danny Breer's main mariner, so it, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how he continues to play going forward, but he's definitely fitting in like a glove right now. So uh, th this game, the stars of the game, where Sandine played a hell of a game overall, the captain, Cal O'Reilly, <coughs> excuse me, continues to be the assist machine, and then Adam Glendening was an assist machine as well. So those guys are the three player stars. But we also, to wrap up this video, have to highlight how good, um, after getting his legs back under him in practice, um, after Garrett Melkoff played the two games on the weekend, th we have to highlight how good Felix Sandstrom really did in this game. Uh, he was really good on 29 shots faced. Obviously, he let in uh, one goal on the Bellarive goal uh, where Ricula uh, blasted it from the point where he was screened. There was a deflection. Those are not much a goal we can do on those plays. Uh, that was just a nice play, play by Ricky let her shoot it on net, and then Bellary to be able to deflect it. But overall, Felix Sandstrom played a hell of a game, and uh, he and Pat Nagel, until he goes over with Team USA, are going to continue to be huge for this team. Then we'll have to see how Gar Garrett Melkoff uh, continues to do uh, going forward uh, for this team since he'll stick around, just as Rotruck said on the broadcast, Bob Rotruck, the great Bob Rotruck, does a great job. Um, but just as he said on the broadcast, Melkoff will stick around because he has to. We need to have the extra goaltending, and he's been good when he's been put in that. So he deserves to stick around, and it'll be interesting to see with how good Linus Sandin is just a poised, wise, smart two-way player. Not going to be anything over-impressive, but just does the little things and plays a clean game on both ends. He could be like a Pitlick-esque <clears throat> player. It'll be interesting to see with the way he's been playing, like a bat out of hell, if he gets a call up soon as he does have his legs under him, and he can be an immediately good PK presence at the very least uh, at the next level. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take. As you recap, the 3-1 to one great win over the Wilkesbury Scranton Penguins in Wilkesbury as well as talked about the fact that they had a struggle buddy weekend after beating Wilkesbury on Friday, lost to them 
on Saturday, was able to get a point from the Toronto game, losing in OT, but then get back in the win column as the Phantoms continue to look better and have better response. They won on Ian LaPierre's birthday. Happy birthday to him. Unfortunately, he wasn't on the bench, but Riley Armstrong and Jason Smith did their thing, and the Phantoms got the 3-1 to one win. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Enjoy the rest of the season, and please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep showing you love and support. Go Phantoms.